Hey guys, so for today's video, we're talking all about the law of attraction and how I manifested my dream luxury apartment, the one I just moved into a few months ago. If you've been subscribed, you know the journey, you know the story, but today I'm gonna go over the specifics of what exactly I did to land here to get this place. If you are subscribed to me, you know that a year ago, I was in a completely different space and I would not have been able to afford to live here. So a lot has happened in the last year and I'm gonna share that all with you. A few months ago, I did make a video on how I was manifesting my dream apartment. So this is similar to that video, except now I have actually landed here and so it's a little more credible so I can be like, see what I said <laughs> is what I did and this is what happened me living here. First of all, I wanna start out by saying that I have been working on my mindset and personal development for several years now, so you do have to have a basis of you know, working on a positivity sort of mindset. If you're new here, just know a couple years ago, I was super depressed. I was 30 pounds heavier. I was babysitting full time and barely getting by. So I had to work on myself to get to a point to realize that I can accomplish the things that I want. Basically, I'm just trying to say, you need to do the groundwork, work on yourself, work on your beliefs, work on your soul, and get to a point where you're like, yeah, I can do this. Pep talk over, now getting into the pointers. So the first thing I did, 2018 hit, and it was time to make my 2018 vision board. One of the biggest goals I put on that vision board was that I wanted to live in a luxury apartment. So I picked the Palazzo. I had always wanted to live at the Palazzo because I knew several people who had lived there and it was the first luxury apartment pretty much that I was ever introduced to and I loved that it was by The Grove which is this amazing shopping center. If you're my subscriber, you know that I don't live at the Palazzo but where I live, in my opinion, is better. So when you're trying to manifest things, know that you can manifest certain specific things but always put the intention that I want this, I want this thing that I want or better. So I put that I wanted somewhere like the Palazzo or better and I got better. So that was kind of the first step, just putting it out there, deciding I want to live at a luxury apartment. Put it on my vision board, I shared that with my audience and that was the starting point. After setting that intention, I went out and I started touring luxury apartments that at the time were like way out of my price range, kind of mind blowing, but I went and toured them anyway because you wanna get yourself excited for the place that you're going to be living in the future. So even if you can't afford the kind of place you wanna live in right now, get out there, start touring places, get excited. You want that feeling of excitement for it. And that's exactly what touring these places did for me. It got me in the mindset of, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. The energy here is so high. I'm gonna be so productive and have such a good life here. And it just gets you in that mindset of, okay, what do I need to do exactly to make this happen? Another thing I did back then was I made a list of all the things that I wanted in an apartment. So, you know, I wanted a gym. I wanted it to be a luxury building. I wanted a pool and a jacuzzi and you know storage and a nice kitchen with tile backsplash and all of these things. So I got very specific and would just look at buildings that had those things. The next thing I really had to work on was my money mindset. I decided to set the intention of $5,000. Like I needed $5,000 in order to afford to live somewhere like this. Like no big deal, I'm just gonna double my income. Well guess what, as soon as I set that as my intention, opportunities started coming to me. Ideas to make money started coming to me. My YouTube income started increasing. Just all of these things kind of fell into place in no time, probably within a month of setting that as my goal, my income increased to $5,000. So one thing I did to get to that point was I would do guided meditations every day. I already do that, but I would specifically do law of attraction guided meditations. One of them was to attract your ideal life and the other one was to attract money into your life. So those two guided meditations I would do like every day and it really helps get your mind into a place where you're really open 
and can see the opportunities in your life and attract them to you. Another thing I did was I read the book, You Are a Badass at Making Money, which is an amazing book as far as the subject of increasing your income goes. But in that book, it said, figure out how much you want to make per month to live comfortably. I already did that. I discovered $5,000 was what I wanted and needed for that to you know, happen. But then the book says, now double that number and set that as your new goal and your new intention. It sounded crazy, but I did. And I have a lot of different techniques that I use. I can't go over, over all of them in this video. I'll do more videos on this subject if you would like. Let me know if you would like me to do that. But the simplified version is I did set $10,000 as my next goal. And a month later, I hit a $10,000 month. I'm not saying that I make $10,000 every month at all. That was so far just a one-time occurrence. But maybe if I put that amount of energy into it again, well, not just maybe, I know if I did put that amount of energy into it as I did that particular month, it could happen again and it will happen again, but it was just insane and it just shows you that it's possible. So where are we at in this story? I put luxury apartment on my vision board. I continued to look at apartments. I improved and worked on my money mindset and a huge key in manifesting your dream home or dream apartment or whatever it is, is to stay excited about it. Be appreciative for your life at the current moment, but just be so grateful for what is to come as well. So I would honestly wake up every day and just go online and look at luxury apartments and get so excited about what my life would look like there. But at the same time, I really, really did appreciate the excitement of the process and where I was in my life at the moment. And when it comes to manifesting, it's all about creating that feeling, that excitement, that you know, determination along with, like I said, I did visualizations when I would do the your ideal life visualization meditation. I would visualize my mornings in luxury apartments. I didn't know the specific one at that point, but I would just think to myself as clear and as vividly as I could exactly what my mornings and life would look like if I lived at a luxury apartment building. Every time I would do that, your ideal life meditation, that's what I would picture. And when you picture it that clearly, that just brings up more excitement. Along with those visualization meditations, I would do something called future pacing. And future pacing is visualizing as if you were already living that life or doing that thing that you want. But the way I do it is I do future pacing journaling. So every morning I would journal as if I were living that life in a luxury apartment, making the amount of money I wanted as if it were already happening. So I'd say, I'm so grateful that I'm making $5,000 a month or I'm so grateful that I'm making $10,000 a month. I am so blessed that I have this amazing luxury apartment. I wake up every morning and I meditate. I sit by the pool, I go to the gym and just in very specific detail, what my mornings and life would look like. And I did that nearly every day. And that also again helps with the excitement and bringing that feeling to reality as if you already had it. That was such a key part in it. And it's also interesting because the things that you want might show up a little differently than you plan on the way that they're supposed to pan out. Like I said, I originally wanted to move and get a two bedroom, two bathroom with roommates. So that was my intention. But at the same time, I have no control over what other people bring into their life. So I can't make that their reality if that's not what aligns with them or aligns with their beliefs of what is possible. So yeah, I was originally looking at two beds, two baths and was going to move with the roommates. And that was the plan. Finally, we found this apartment. It had everything we wanted, a double master bedroom bathroom. It had a spacious kitchen with a tile backsplash and an island and a gym and a pool and a jacuzzi and even more amenities than I could even imagine or had originally planned. And it was in the price range. I originally decided 1500 was the top of my budget. That was pushing it. That's nearly doubling my rent. If I split, a $3,000 apartment, I would have to pay 1500. That was a plan. And so then I started altering my visualizations and journaling to specifically apply to this apartment. And that really helped just visualizing exactly how my mornings would go here. And then about two months before it was time to move, 
things just kind of fell through. My roommates made other plans that just worked better for them. All of a sudden I was like, ah, what the freaking heck do I do? I'm either going to have to try to find like a stranger or someone on Facebook who's willing to move here with me, which, you know, it was definitely just not ideal. And then people started suggesting, well, why don't you get a studio by yourself? I just had never envisioned a studio for myself. I'd never wanted to live alone. And that would push my rent to like around $2,000. But the more I thought about it, I was like, I can either basically live with a stranger or someone I'm not very close to, or I can expand my money mindset again and believe that I can do it and go and live on my own. And I started weighing my options. And even though the studio option was not exactly what I had been planning or thinking about at all, all of a sudden I started thinking like, well, if I increased my income, if I doubled it, and if I was able to make $10,000 in a month, and if I'm able at least to keep up the $5,000 a month, then I should be able to do it. It sounds terrifying, and it's more than I expected, and it's outside of my comfort zone, and it's not, it wasn't, it wasn't part of the plan, but all of a sudden, I just started getting really excited, and I, I notice in myself and in my intuition, when something is just right, I get goosebumps all over my body, and I get like tingles, this wave of excitement and, just, I don't know, it's just like this positive energy rush through my body and whenever I get that, I'm like, okay, this is my body telling me that's the right move to make. So I just set that intention and I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to go and try to live on my own and pay way more than I was ever expecting and live a little differently than I was ever expecting, but at the same time, it's, still me following through with exactly what I wanted, living at the apartment that I wanted. And so a month before my lease was up, keep in mind, I had already toured this apartment twice, the two bedroom at least. I came in, I wanted to look at the studio, and that day I put in an application for a studio. There were two available. There was one that cost a little less and was on a different side of the building, like it had a street view. And then the other one had like the prime location with the pool facing patio. And that costs like, I don't know, one or $200 more, which would put my rent up to 2,200. So that was already even 200 more than I was planning when I made the studio decision. But I'm like, if I keep upping it anyway, what is another $200? That's $700 more than I was originally planning to pay. But I was like, what the heck? I'm gonna feel so happy here. I'm gonna have this pool view to wake up to every morning. The lighting is amazing in this apartment. I'm just gonna go for it. So I applied. I got accepted that day. I signed the lease and the rest is history. I did it, I proved my parents wrong. I don't wanna make my parents sound bad, but they always pretty much told me I would need a guy to take care of me because I was like an ADD child and scattered and all over the place and couldn't even get my homework done in high school, but I did it. With being able to afford my rent, I've also signed up for a life coaching certification program, which costs almost as much as my rent per month for the next seven months, yeah. I'm just gonna be honest, I have to pay on top of that $1,500 for my coaching certification program. And I was terrified of that decision. I'm like, okay, my rent just oh, more than doubled, way more than doubled, and now I have to pay an extra $1,500 on top of that. But because I believed that I can make it work and I can attract the money and life's gonna work out, life is in my favor, I've been able to manage that. And that might sound crazy and it takes a lot of work. I have to work on my mindset every day. I have to meditate every day. I have to journal. I have to read. I have to really continue to work on myself. It's not like I'm just coasting along. This is a journey and it's crazy and it just shows you how much your life can change when you decide to believe in yourself and when you decide that I'm in charge of my own life, I make my own decisions, and you stop worrying about everyone else's judgments and you do things because you feel that that's right and you see that it can work for other people so that means it can work for you and you really believe in it and that's exactly what happened to me. And look at what's happening and there's so much more to come. This is just the start of it. I never believed in this stuff before. I never had this mindset before 
So it shows you that you can go from depression and gaining weight and being in toxic friendships and relationships and just all sorts of confusion and you can turn things around and you can live the life that you probably only dreamed of as a child. That's one thing that's super cool for me is I know that little baby Annie would be so proud and shocked to know the things that I'm doing and this is just the start. There's so much more to come. And I hope that I went over everything that I wanted to go over. It's probably gonna be a long video if you have any questions. I would love to make more videos on this subject. Just let me know what you wanna hear. If this was at all any help or inspiring to you, please hit the thumbs up button, it helps my videos. And I really just want everyone to know, when you see other people accomplishing things, don't take that as, oh no, what's wrong with me? Life's not fair, why do good things happen to them and not for me? Take that as, wow, if they can do it, that means I can do it. The fact that I'm doing this is just proof that any of you guys can do this. And it's up to you. Honestly, it's all up to you to do it. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap up this video. Just remember, we have this one life, one life. So why not just choose to believe in yourself? Even if other people haven't believed in you in your life, people will only start to believe in you fully when you show that you believe in yourself. And that's the truth. I can tell you by experience. But that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon with a new one. Bye guys.